Now, so that's two things, right? As I said, I, I promised you tonight I would talk about, you know, when you over imbibe during the holidays, chromium is depleted, magnesium is depleted. The other thing that's depleted are your Bs, your B vitamins. Let's just create a new page for those guys. Um, your B vitamins... And I'm not, you know, B vitamin is a family of vitamins. So this is your, you know, your B1, your 2, your 3, your B5, your 6, your 9. Actually, I missed 7. Let's go back and do 7, and let's do 12. And then there's also nutrients that aren't te technically considered B vitamins, but, but are. So like your choline is, although technically not ever really referred to as a B vitamin, and then inositol is another one that these are important parts of the B vitamin complex or family. So B1 through B12, choline and inositol, guess what? The same diet, right? The high sugar, high carbohydrate, high processed food, high stress, all those things can deplete B vitamins, alcohol including. And so we're gonna get, again, B, why are B vitamins so important? Most people, when they think about B vitamins, what do they think about? They think about energy, right? Energy is kind of the, B vitamins are good for energy. That's what, again, we're just being very generic here without going into the complexities of biochemistry. What does that mean? Well, in a nutshell, that same process that magnesium helps convert carbohydrate into energy, the B vitamins also play a role within that same framework. So magnesium plays a role in eight of those chemical reactions, but the B vitamins play a role in multiple reactions within that process of Krebs cycle and within another process inside your mitochondria called the, the, the um, electron transport chain. Now, so you need B vitamins all along the course of trying to convert carbs, fats, and proteins into energy. So if you're high carbohydrate, you're gonna burn through more B vitamins, if, especially if those carbohydrates that you're consuming are low nutritional density. And this is why soda is so bad. This is why alcohol is so bad. This is why alcoholics generally tend to develop severity of B vitamin deficiencies faster than anyone else. But again, those B vitamins are necessary to convert your fuel. Your food has to be converted into energy, right? That's the whole pre premise of eating is that food has to convert to energy that your body uses for what? For maintenance, for healing, for repair, and for maintenance of tissues. And if you run out of this, it's not just a matter of I feel tired, it's a matter of I feel tired, I'm not healing, that I bruise easier, um, I can't think as clearly, right? Your body starts to fundamentally break down without these adequate B vitamins. So as you're navigating the holiday season, and maybe you're deviating from, you know, from your pristine diet a little bit, many of you are, again, I'm a realist, um, some of you are very stoic and you're probably very pristine with your diet all the time, but many of you, you're gonna celebrate during the holiday season. And if you let this get out of control, if you, if you take it too far too long, you're gonna come out of the holidays feeling depressed, feeling tired, having gained weight, um, where your pants don't fit as well, where your clothes don't fit as well, that's gonna further increase your psychological depression right? And, and what ends up happening, this is why New Year's resolutions exist. They exist so marketers can sell you more crap that you don't need because you didn't take good care of yourself. Uh, and if you would just back up for a minute and say, look, how can I, how can I keep it reasonable, still enjoy some of, of, of the holiday tradition, but keep it reasonable? One of the best things that you can make sure that you're doing is supplementing with chromium and magnesium and B vitamins during this time so that if you do have a few drinks or if you do you know have something that's maybe a little bit sweeter with even potentially with sugar in it and even some of the other sugars the sugar substitutes like coconut sugar look a lot of these things are not very nutrient dense either they're used and they're maybe a little bit better than sugar but they're still processed and they're still sugar and they're still going to cause nutritional depletion so supplementing through the holidays it's probably one of the best times of the year to make sure that you're staying consistent with your multivitamin. If you're using a multivitamin like ultranutrients or multinutrients, it's got B vitamins in it. So it's gonna cover that base. It's gonna have chromium in it. It's gonna have magnesium in it. So you'll get at least something for it. But many of you also 
might do really, really well adding a little extra chromium or adding a little extra magnesium into that mix. Again, with magnesium, we're talking about standard quantities. I didn't really mention that. It's anywhere from four to 600 milligrams per day. With chromium, it's two to 400 micrograms a day. With B vitamins, it's anywhere from, depending on the B vitamin, but anywhere from 10 milligrams up to 100 plus milligrams per the B vitamin to get adequate quantities to support you nutritionally, again, through those diet deviations or through those um, weak moments that you might have over the holiday season. Hey, don't forget to check out the rest of the series right here. Make sure you hit subscribe below. And as always, thanks for tuning in.